Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Pythonic Accountant. In this video, we're going to show a follow-up to a previous video where we recorded general ledger transactions and a trial balance. Uh, someone had made a comment suggesting adding a, an interface where you could uh, enter the transactions and click some buttons. So I attempted to do this. It was not very easy because I'm not that familiar with creating interfaces uh, using the various GUI libraries, but I thought it was a good opportunity to try it out. So there's actually two ways you can go in creating interactive graphical user interfaces with Python. The first is using uh, native Windows. So for if you're on Windows or Macintosh, then it'll actually look like a window for that system. And that's what we're going to show you today. Uh, but the other method, which I actually prefer, is to create a web application. So something that will run in your browser. So maybe we'll do that in a future one to make it to show how you can actually run uh, a web page, basically. Um, so for this one, I'm not going to go through and type all the code as we go. And it actually took me a little while to figure this one out. As I said, I'm kind of new to writing GUIs, as they call them. Uh, but we're using a library called Toga. So this is the code to install Toga. I've already got it installed. And we're using the same, uh, basically the same code with a few modifications that we used a few videos ago. So we create a transaction class and a general ledger class. And these allow you to create the general ledger entries and the transaction entries, and then produce a uh, trial balance. This is the block of code that creates the GUI, and it's got a few different components to it. It's, it's a little bit daunting, but it's actually not too long, so it, it could be a lot worse. And what we're doing with it is we're basically setting up a couple of containers. There's kind of a right side and a left side. Uh, the right side is a table that's going to show our general ledger transactions, and then the left side's going to have a trial balance as well as a button and some inputs to enter the transaction information. So rather than walking you through what the code does, I'll just run it and you can see what it looks like. So this now gives me a nice window that has the four input fields with some fake you know, inputs to start where I can replace them. There's a button that says add transaction. And over here on the right is going to be our general ledger. So as we add the transaction, this will just add new general letter, ledger items. And over here is going to give us our running trial balance. So let's say we're going to load up our uh, amounts with cash. And let's say we have equity. And so now here's our ledger that is adding the items to the top. And then here's our trial balance. So let's say we want to go ahead and buy some equipment with this cash. So we're going to take the 10, 10 and cash, and let's buy $150 worth of equipment. So reduce the cash, and then see how it decreased down here. But up here, you just get that running uh, ledger. And then let's increase our, let's see, let's call it 1,500 assets. Uh, let's call it inventory. So we bought some inventory, $150 worth of inventory. Cool. So now we've got our trial balance, like I said, that's got just the running totals and then the ledger over here. Now let's, uh, let's say we sell some of that inventory. I'm going to be really lazy here and not go through the whole cost of goods sold. I'm just going to take out $50 of inventory <laughs> and record uh, well, I guess I am going to have to do cost of goods sold because if I want to do revenues in AR, uh, I'm going to have to do cost of goods sold. So let's say we sold $50 worth of inventory. <clears throat> so we're going to do minus 50. And then let's do a cost of goods sold of 50. And then let's say we sold it for, uh, we got a really good markup. Let's say we sold it for 100 so sales, negative 100, and then let's do receivables for 100. There we go. 
So it looks like we've got a nice trial balance here that hopefully balances. And then we've got a running ledger on here. So let's collect that accounts receivable. We'll move it into cash. So we'll do negative 100. And let's do 1010 cash of 100. And so now we've got our trial balance that, like I said, hopefully balances and our running ledger. So this is super basic and a little bit hacky because uh, this thing on the left with the trial balances, I tried to make it refresh, but it wouldn't work for me. It would just append items to the bottom. So you can actually scroll down and see I just added a whole bunch of blank rows. So really hacky, not ideal, but at least it looks pretty cool. Looks like it works. And it's a neat way to show uh, the potential of using a GUI and clicking buttons with inputs for uh, doing some of your Python code. So hopefully in a future video, I'll show one on a web page or uh, basically uh, interactive web page. So that'll be good. Anyways, hope you liked the video. If you enjoyed this, click like. If you want to see more of it, click subscribe. And hope you have a great day. And we'll see you at the next one.